and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about something that I've talked about before uh, on the channel, but I want to talk about it again because I have an idea. It's probably off the wall, but I'm going to say it anyway, and you guys can chime in. Maybe you have an idea on this topic or uh, or whether you agree with me or not on uh, what I'm going to say. But anyway, it's to do with the bike lane. Okay, we've all, anyone that's ridden a bike or any anything that you ride in the bike lane knows about the debris that is in the bike lane. It can get awful at times. And we inevitably will get a flat tire riding in that, you know. And there's just so much debris in there. Everything goes everything goes to the uh, bike lane, you know, from the road. And so I have an idea. As we're going to go on to a bike lane right now. So when the sweeper comes along, the sweeper truck and does the road and does the bike lane here, it's awesome. I don't know, um, like I don't know how often they do it, but they don't do it very often, unfortunately. So that's got me thinking, well, if they can't do it more often, like we need to have it done every day, really. But I guess that's gonna cost too much money and nobody's just gonna, nobody's gonna go for that. And so my idea is, well, if we can't have the truck, sweeper truck come out and do it, what if we come up with our own kind of some way to do it, you know? And I'm thinking, well, you know, why can't they pay somebody to do it? And my idea is to pull some kind of a, like a trailer behind your bike with some kind of vacuum set up and sweep. So it sweeps all that debris up and goes into the back uh, trailer there. You have some kind of a trailer, box trailer, you know, that, that can, when the, when the stuff gets vacuumed up off the road, it can go into this trailer. It's probably off the wall, but something like that, you know, like let's have something that, and then that will give something for somebody to do that you know needs a job too you know and, and it would you 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 have an area that you do and they just hire some people and then they go around with their bike towing this trailer vacuuming up sweeping the bike lanes for everybody that would be i mean i like the idea but i don't know i don't think it's going to fly but just some of the thoughts that i have going through my head I mean, there's got to be some way if they can't come out and sweep the roads more often, the bike lanes specifically. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section on that. Do you agree with me on that or do you have any ideas like what can we do to make the bike lanes a little more cleaner so that when we ride we don't have any anxieties over riding in the bike lane you know we have enough going on with dealing with cars whipping by us but when you have to kind of stick handle or navigate around all that debris which I've had to do and I'm sure all of you had to do at some point um, it'd be nice to have it all vacuumed up and I know it's probably not going to fly but just a thought I had but I have ridden uh, on roads before that have just it seems like just freshly been swept and wow what a difference
as you can see here, school's out. Makes me think of the song by Alice Cooper, School's Out. School's Out for Summer. I want to pull off here for one second. I'm hearing some kind of a, a rubbing sound. I don't know what that is. I think it's the fender. But I'm not sure. Okay, let's try it again. Get on there. There we go. I'm not sure what that is. Let's get going again and see if we can hear it. That sounds all right now. I think it might have been the fender. These are uh, metal fenders on the bike, so... So yeah, you can see along here, if you can see along the edge of the road, there's not a bike lane, but look at all the debris in there. All those pine cones and stuff. It's just terrible for uh, anyone riding a bike, whether it's a, an e-bike or a traditional bike. Kind of makes you cringe every time, you know, you got to ride through that and then you don't know what you're running over. Sometimes you can't see, especially it's even worse at night, you know, and <clears throat> even if you've got a good headlight, you're still not seeing as good as you are in the daylight. So let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas on how we can Keep our uh, bike lanes a little cleaner. They can get so darn rough, you know, like. Not only the uh, debris, but we also have, and we can't do nothing about this, I guess, but we also have those uh, uh, sewer drains, you know, as well. You know, scoot across here. Seeing my uh, battery is dropping a bit. It keeps going up and down between 80 and 40 percent. Regen brakes puts it back, and then I use it up again, and then it goes down again. Nice uh, sunny day here this afternoon. Temperature's about 60 degrees. I'm liking this. I'm not wearing a jacket. I'm not wearing gloves. I'm just, I, I do have a hoodie on though, but. I mean, better than talking about bike lanes, better than being in the bike lane, I'd rather uh, have dedicated bike lanes that are completely away from traffic. But I'm afraid in my lifetime, I'm not gonna see a lot of that. Maybe you're lucky where you are and you have that. I just, around here, I just, they just don't have that. So, but we'll see in the future.
just a beautiful day to whip around here. I don't want to get off the bike. I'm sure you get the same thing, right? When you get nice weather, nice sunny, it's breezy out, but that's okay. It's warm enough that you don't really notice. It's actually kind of refreshing, but um, when you get this nice a day, you just want to go, you know, it's, and the bike wants to go, so. bit of a rubbing noise. I'm going to have to see what that is after. This bike is so smooth. And I am totally addicted to that regen braking. I always bring that up, but it's just, just awesome. I don't have to grab any levers or levers. If you're Canadian, you'll say levers like me, but if you're American or most other places, it's levers. But Well, that's going to do it for this video on the channel and if you'd like to make a comment on bike lanes maybe you've got some great ideas I'd like to hear your thoughts on that or do you like my idea of some kind of a contraption where you basically are vacuuming the road riding your bike you're not obviously going to go fast fast but maybe 10 miles an hour 12 miles an hour but I think that would be a good idea something that can clean the road so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified also, I do have a link in the descriptions for this bike, the Lyric Graffiti. If you do would, li or would like to purchase one, I do have that uh, discount code, Oregon E-Biker Mark. Oregon E-Biker Mark. That will save you $150 on the bike. Also, I have the x Nito helmet, too, if you would like to purchase this helmet that I'm wearing. I do also have that. Somebody behind me riding an electric, uh, electric bike, holding bike there. He's not going to get on camera because he was behind me, unfortunately. It's a blue one he's got. Anyway, uh, the helmet, uh, I was mentioning uh, x Nito. I do have a $15 off. If you click on the link in my description, you'll save yourself the $15 off of the helmet. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.